we have a group 21. Uh, we consist of um, Alan, Rex, and Akiki. Uh, the song we're doing is Ret Free 2, Pressure, followed by Ret Free 2, um, Antwi. Um, yeah, start off. Uh, analysis of chosen video. Similar to those used in old school films like cowboy movies and stuff. Um, we plan to make the, the lyric flow and emphasize the narrative better. We'll be using a completely different costume. Like, no hair will be shown throughout. So I'm just going to have a hat on because that's our brand. Um, and we plan to show better synergy in our media product. Uh, our second choice of song, Pressure, as I've already said, didn't have a video. So we didn't have pre-made visuals, therefore we made a storyboard and we can use an app. Um, on the other hand, Antwi's visuals had a dark, blacked out background and focuses directly on the on the protagonist. So we plan to add some more colour and add more vibrance. And our influence for this particular song involved Wiley and his like, numbers video, as many of you may have seen. Um, our other influence is Kano. Um, we had initial thoughts of using this song, but um, we just stuck with Wretch. And we also had influences from Stormzy, but that was partially discredited because he is more of a grand hard hitter than Wretch 3 too. So, yeah. Yeah, so um, obviously we had to think about the risks that could possibly occur when we are shooting our music uh, video. One of them would be the weather, as this would affect our filming. Um, another one could be this, uh, folding equipment, and this could be all type of equipment from cameras to tripods. Um, we'll be filming around water as well, and we'll be needing to avoid uh, keeping the electrical equipment too close to water, because obviously electronics and water don't match. Um, in, in one of our scenes, the artist will be falling as far as as part of the narrative, and yeah, we have to avoid any injury caused to the artist. Uh, following the scene, the artist will be running, so any potential objects in the way have to be moved in case they're knocked over. Uh, to avoid these risks, we could check the weather forecast beforehand, um, hold the equipment firmly, avoid leaving electrical equipment too close to the water, uh, create a safe environment for the artists to run in and to fall in. <laughs> yeah, so, so this is part of the shot list, which is going to consist of many different shots from close-ups to tracking shots to over-the-shoulder shots. And this all ties in with the narrative of the storyboard, which will be shown at some point. Uh, for our second video, we have to be used to use the green screen, like Alan already said. So we're going to have a uh, text put it there on a plain background, and then use after effects to add the text in. And we've got inspiration for this from GRM Davies, Davies After Videos. <laughs> Oh, 
original you, totally chatting shit again. You says it's grime, but don't sit with them while he's back. What grime, don't let the pen drop, no, and grime not really. Cause he ain't got a bar, but shut it down, sit. What floor that sound guy, skippy, dippy, dee, dee, but anyway, I know.
if there's one major difference in terms of UK hip hop and American hip hop is it's not as a cliche in terms of like the sounds like you don't get that that young fog fog kind of vibe with uh, most UK artists but but with UK artists especially like people like Rich Free too <coughs> like you can tell the difference in terms of like what they rap about it's not as superficial as it is with American music compared to British music. Like British music is more down to earth and more like in tune with their society really, with their surroundings. So um, have you actually listened to any of Wretch's um, albums in the last couple of years? I've listened to his tracks, I don't know about, I haven't listened to his albums. But I've listened to some of his tracks. And would you say that they're very appealing to um, this audience? One hundred percent. And I'd even say that it's that he's now getting onto onto like a bigger audience mm -hmm. because of the music he's making. Yeah. Um. So, um, apart from Wretch, is there any other artist that you have an interest in? Yeah, I have uh, an interest in Chip. Yeah. In. Uh, like other rappers like Jeremy, but the, the one that I'm really into is Skepta. Like he's like right now he's like one of the big universal, big yeah universal rappers in well especially in the UK. I mean like he's more well known and he's starting to become a big well person. Known. Yeah, yeah. I mean well, after when after winning that Mercury Prize, it seems really really um, progressive. And not to mention that he's actually caught attention in the American hip hop scene. One hundred percent, one hundred percent, I agree with that. So it just adds on to how, how like influential he's becoming right now. All right, all right. Thank you for your time. No um, yep. Yeah, so um, what we did to get most of our ideas was look at previous uh, hip hop, R&B, slight songs, and one, one of our main influences was Red Free 2. Um, uh, uh, from the kinetic typography that I was talking about early on, you can see that he uses some sort of text as well that's put onto the wall behind him. Generally, uh, the, the typography is usually behind the artist. And this is something that we will try to integrate into our music video as well. Yeah, these are other examples. Um, as Rex touched on earlier, there's many close-ups in these sorts of videos as well. So this is something else that we look to include in our music video. Uh, also, in our storyboard that you'll see later on, there's a sequence of flashing images which occurs in pretty much all of Rex's videos. And, um, in one of our scenes, we also have these sequence of flashing images which create a significance to the narrative of the video. Um, yeah, this is also a type of shot that we uh, tend to want to include in our music video, which consists of the artist and the view. So we did actually ask for copyright.